Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here. Then uh, in this session, uh, we are going to see about how to customize the purchase order screen as well as the catalog screen. I'm not sure. Okay, so we'll now go down. So in the procurement, if you go to the purchase orders, this is known as purchase orders actually. Right? If you click on the purchase orders, right? In the purchase orders, in the task, right? It is a task for the purchase orders. Right? Click on it. The task is there. So we have in requisitions three entries, in order four entries, in agreement six or seven entries, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So what we do is on the requisition, let me hide import requisition, whether and then here, whatever the law again say, whatever the, something I want to hide, not to find import orders, fine. Because something which is which nobody is really using it, fine. Import requisitions, import orders and orders, fine. Against the purchase orders. Purchase orders in, in within which requisitions, import requisitions I'm going to remit. And then within orders, I will now remove the import orders. And then within agreements, what happens, I will now say import, right? Import contract agreements. So these three things I'm going to remove, right? Everything is import, 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 I'm going to remove it, right? Import contract agreement, not blank. I will now say import blanket agreements. So import blanket agreements, import orders, and then import requisitions I'm going to remove. Fine, that is the task I have taken now. And then afterwards, what happens if you go there? This is the one task. And then I will now click on it. I will not go to the catalogs. I will not go to the catalogs. So in the catalogs, I go there. So this area itself is known as the catalog. Right? In the catalog, what happens? We have got this many entries actually. So okay, I will now remove what manage supplier content mappings. Right? Supplier content mappings that I am going to remove now. Okay, right? And then uh, this is known as a task area. Right? And then this is known as what as a search area. And then this is known as called recently viewed. Okay? So under the task area of catalog, I'm going to remove the manage supplier content mapping set. So this is the task we have taken. So three imports going to be removed and then this and the catalog we have removed. So first of all, what happens? You go there, go to the home icon. And then you go to the, it's called, go further, go further. <clears throat> you go to the configuration area. Tools configuration, you go to the, after the tools, we have a configuration. Fine, click on the configuration, then click on the sandbox. And then let us now create on sandbox. <laughs> so click on create sandbox on the right hand side. We are going to create a sandbox. Go there. I will say one two one two one and something some number I am now giving it now. Right. One two one two one. And then the bottom what about I will now enable the page composer. So the page composer has been enabled now. Fine for this. And then click on create and enter on the top right. Right. Page composer is enabled. And then click on create and enter on the top right. So now we are entering into a sandbox mode now. And remember, during the sandbox mode, don't perform any transactions now. Fine. Setups and transactions must be avoided actually. Right. You're not supposed to make. Fine. It may work, but uh, that is not the correct way actually. Now you can see a yellow strip coming up. I go that model. So first of all, I will now go and then customize my purchase order screen. Three imports I am going to remove. I go that model. I will now go to the purchase orders. I will now go to the procurement first of all. In the procurement, what happens? I will now open the purchase orders. We are opening the purchase orders. Fine, go that. So it has got what requisitions, orders, and agreements. So import requisitions, import order, and import blanket agreements is going to be removed now. So we will now. Bring this page to the edit mode. Right? We click on the right hand side top and then click on the edit page. So we are now the page comes to the edit mode. The page will be coming to the edit mode. So the page is in edit mode. So here on the left hand side, click on the view and then go to source actually. It is now in the design form. Right? Bring it to source. So once when you bring it to source, your bottom, what happens? You cannot see a black thick line will be coming. Right? So go to the source. View source means what? A black thick line will be coming. Your black thick line will be coming. Is coming fine. Just drag up, fine. Drag that line up. So just drag. Now, what happens? Is you are going to customize this area now. Right? This is basically called task. And then afterwards, search. And then afterwards, what happens? Your uh, recent documents. And then the fourth one is what? Reports and analytics. There are four uh, things are there. So in the task only, I'm going to customize. Fine. Click on the task and then bring it to edit mode. Now. I bring it into. You click on the task and then uh, the task means what? The entire four combinations is going to be edited actually. So click on edit now. So this area will not show it to you. So here, what happens? You can now see the show details task is coming. And then the next one is what? Search and then recent documents and then reports and analytics. All the four areas are coming up. So the task I'm going to edit now. So for which, what happens? The first one I'm going to edit. I will now click on the edit task flow on the task. Right? Similarly, search also edit task flow. And then recent documents edit task flow. And then reports and analysis edit task flow. So if you click on it, what happens? The purchase orders will open. Right. Click on the edit task list fine on the task fine. Click on it. So we are now editing it. Edit task list on the task actually. So task we are editing it. So you know, come over here. So now we have to go to the forms layout actually. 
Fine. We had to go to the form there. So there are so many entries there. You can now see that everything is enabled actually. Fine. The import requisition will be disabled. So we had to go to the forms layout. So you can see panel form layout is there. Right. You click on the panel form layout. When you click on the panel form, it becomes editable now. Fine. Click on the edit icon now. Fine. Click on the edit icon on the panel form, form layout. Fine. Click on it. We are now going to edit. So you go to the second tab region. Now it will not show us purchase orders. Now. Fine. Click on the second tab region. It will not show us the purchase orders. In the task list. Fine. So expand the purchase orders. And then now expand the requisitions. So in this one, what happens? The import requisitions I'm going to add now. Fine. Click on it. And then here, what happens? We have a hide icon now. This is a hide icon. Fine. Then duplicate. Fine. This is a hide icon. So if you hide the node, this node will not be visible. This is a show node actually. Fine. Hide and show are there. So click on the hide. So import requisitions is now hidden actually. So later on, if you want to bring in, what happens? We have to give the show node now. Fine. And then the orders, what happens? I will know what happens. Remove import orders. Import orders, I will not hide. Now. I click on it. I will not hide it. If you later on, if you want it, you have to click on the show node. Now. I am not hiding it. And similarly, on the agreements, what happens? You go there, agreements. Also, what happens? Import blanket agreements, I am going to hide. Now. I click on it. I am not going to hide it. now. So click on hide. <clears throat> it's as simple as it. Fine. Whatever you want to, you can hide and show. Now. Clear, Pradeep? Hello? Are you there? Yes, <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. It's clear. Huh? Click on apply. Yeah. So click on apply and then click on OK. So this page is now customized actually. Okay. So this page is customized. Similarly, what happens? We'll now go there. We'll now go on that. What happens? Close the page. Fine. Click on close. Fine. No doubt. So this page, the pay, purchase orders is now completed. Fine. Click on the close page. I've now completed it. I've customized it. Now what happens? You go there, go to the home page. I will now go to the catalogs. I will now go there. Go to the procurement and then click the catalog. There was a purchase order. Fine. This is a, this will be known as a catalog actually. This is also having what? Search task, search. And then what happens? You have got deliverables. Uh, reason review. So this page, I will not bring it to edit mode. Click on it. You will not bring it to edit mode. So click on edit mode. So we have now brought this page to edit mode. And again, what happens? You go to the left hand side, go to the view, and then go to the source. Fine. View source. A thick black line will be coming. I am on the catalog page actually. Fine. Drag it. Drag the black line. Come over here. Fine. Come it. Come, come over here. Now. So go there. Now click on this one. Now fine. There's uh, three icons put together. I have now click on it. So that will go into edit mode. Fine. Click on edit mode. It will not go to edit mode. So here again, what happens is we have to go to the forms layout actually. <laughs> so you can now see the task is there, the search is there, the recently viewed is there. So for which what happens is we have to go to the forms layout actually. So we will now go to the forms layout and click on it. Can't we'll see where, where the forms layout is. Um, <clears throat> it's the panel tab, fine with show panel, uh, general uh, group layout, all these things are coming. Go down, you will see. The forms layout. First of all, what happens uh, the here? What happens? There is no forms layout at all. So we can even directly go to the task. If the forms layout is not there, so what happens? What you can do is you can go to the task directly. I'm going to the place. So should the task only? I'm going to customize it so we can go over there. Right? There is no forms layout there. So click on the edit task flow no, of the task actually. Right? Edit task of the task. You know, editing it up. So this many things are visible actually. Right? So now in this one, sorry. In this only, we have to go to the forms layout, right? the panel forms layout. So after having gone into the edit flow, then you go to the panel form layout. Okay. After having uh, click on the edit flow, then you go to the panel form layout and you click on edit now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this one, I'm going to remove the manage supplier content mapping set. So you go to the panel forms layout, right? click on edit now. Right. Go to the next tab region. And then whatever you want to show, you can show on the height now. When expand it. No, expand it and then here what happens you go there manage supplier content mapping set i'm going to help so click on it i will not hide it so click on hide this is now hidden actually if you go and click anywhere what happens is not shown in a black color similarly the catalog itself can be hidden if you want to hide the catalog itself you can hide it also right then so entire catalog is, will be hide. Huh? then entire catalog will be hide <laughs> <laughs> this is what people have done now right Yesterday, they have now removed the catalog totally. Fine, they hidden it. So only the supply and mapping set is removed. Fine, click on apply and then click on OK. Fine. So both the customizations are complete now. Fine. So the form, after given the edit flow, then you have to go to the form. So click on the close in the top. Fine. Now we are going to publish this. So it's a four step process. Fine with that. So click on what we had to publish it now. Fine. Click on the name of that, uh, what happens, your uh, uh, sandbox, and then click on publish. The first step, step number one. Click on the name and then click on publish. Step number one. Step number two is what? Give a yes. Yes. This is step number two. Fine. Click on yes. 
The step number three is again publish. Right? There is a publish button on the right hand side. There is a step number three. Fine, click on publish. And then step number four is yes, no. So once when you perform all the four steps, this gets published and then the yellow will vanish. Yellow line will vanish. So uh, the yellow line will vanish. Then log out and log in. And then to see the changes. No, fine. Sign out and sign in. There is no need to even log out also. But anyhow, I'm not doing it. If it's not vis really visible, what happens? It will now log out and log in. You know, go there, click on it. I will now go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase orders. Right? In the requisition, import requisition will be away, gone. Right? If you click on it, what happens? The import requisition. Yes. And then here, what happens in the order, the import orders is gone. In the agreement import, blanket agreement is gone, actually. Okay. Kind of fine. So you can again bring back the same way. Fine. Hide and show, you can impact. Clear on this, not fine. You will now go on the, yes. the catalog. You will now go there, click on the catalog. So go to the catalog. Now, fine. Click on the catalog. And this is the catalog icon. Fine. Click on the catalog icon. So here, what happens, you can now see the manage, uh, mapping set is not there. Fine. Category mapping is not there. That is gone, actually. Similarly, the entire thing, like what happens, the uh, search itself, you can hide. Or the what's called the recently viewed also, you can hide, actually. Got it? Is it yes. clear? Yes, yes. It's so clear. simple now, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. stop. And then what happens, I will now close the record. Hey, Kishore, you came back very late, actually. Did you see that? No, I, I, I saw everything, sir. Thanks you saw for, everything? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very good, very good. Very good. Mm. Okay, then, yeah. Anything yeah. we uh, discussed or otherwise we'll not call it that name. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Thanks a lot for... So easy, you know, fine. it's not a difficult yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, just you have to know the process to do this. That's, that's yeah. If you know the process, yeah. it will be easy. Any screens can be customized, actually. Right. Thank you, Nana. Okay. Thanks for your time. Okay, sir. Thanks, Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Hey, Kishore, can you open up your video? I want to see about how good you are, how smart you are. <laughs> For a long time. Just a minute, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Fine, nice. Speak a yeah. few words so that whatever your image will also be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you.